What's going on guys? Chris here with Tactical Outdoorsman and C4 Armory. We are back with another review with something that I like to mess around with uh, quite often and that is night vision. Now, um, what I have is not something that you're going to uh, go ahead and run and gun with. This is actually a digital night vision that was sent to me from GT Media. And I'm going to give you guys a quick unboxing and show you a comparison of what this type of digital unit looks like compared to my analog unit, which is a L3 film, uh, filmless white phosphor uh, tube. They're DT, DTMBSs, um, and the FOM is roughly around 2000. So we're going to compare that uh, against what this digital night vision is capable of. Okay. So... Here is the binocular unit. Uh, it comes in that case that I showed you. Uh, by default, this unit is zoomed in to 4X. So uh, for me, using this for any kind of a tactical application is uh, completely out of the question. Uh, the only thing that this would have a use case for in my life is if I'm outdoors and I want to be uh, glassing for some type of wildlife or movement out there. Uh, so this is good for that. Uh, definitely not good for a tactical use because, uh, as you can see, uh, there's two lenses here. One of them is to look through, and the other one is for an IR illuminator, which uh, gives off a bright uh, red glow. So there's um, once we get into this, we'll talk about the brightness settings and what this can do. Uh, what is cool about this unit is that it is rechargeable. Okay, so you have a little uh, charging port here. USB-C, and it also comes with a SD card. So it's kind of good to go right out of the box. You can just fire this thing up and uh, start looking at things far away with a 4X zoom. And you can also take pictures and record through that, which is really cool. All right, uh, also in the box, uh, you get a, a little bag here. You get a head mount with a GoPro style a GoPro style mount. Okay. You get a USB stick with a slot in the back to put in your SD card. So you can put that into your computer to get the media off of the unit. Okay. Uh, comes with a little neck lanyard. Comes with the other part of the mount that goes on that on this GoPro style head mount here. Uh, comes with a charging cable, USB-C, USB-A, and a cleaning cloth, and your direction manual, okay? There are some other small accessories in here. Uh, so whoa, whoa. so uh, some screws for mounting that up to the, to the head mount. You can also tripod mount this if you wanted to. All right, uh, just taking a closer look at this, uh, you do have some uh, you have focusing knobs here for your viewfinder. Um, and then all your buttons are on the back here. So uh, real quickly, uh, you have your power button, a menu button, then you have an IR uh, light up and down. So the seven levels of that. And then you have a... Uh, shot button which is to begin recording or take a picture and then your mode button okay so i will fire this thing up and i will put a uh, image up on the screen of what the menus look like so you guys can see exactly what it looks like on the menu interface here and how that works and then after we do that we'll take a look at the comparison between the footage from the digital night vision and the footage from the analog night vision so that you can see if this is something that would fit the bill for uh, the use case that you have, uh, which I would assume is likely just kind of, uh, you know, glassing and looking for wildlife or anything like that on your property. Um, being that this is a 4X, again, you're not gonna be able to run and gun or do anything like that with this unit. This is really just an observation unit. So uh, let's go take a look at some of that footage and then you can make a decision on what you think. All right, guys, uh, just doing a quick demo of the GT Media digital night vision. So what we're looking at on the screen right now is us outside in the complete darkness. 
there is no illumination active and uh, I'm just going to go through some of the illumination settings here. All right, so this is an illumination setting of one. So I have a bit of a fence here in front of me. It goes back quite a ways, probably about 50 yards worth of fencing. Um, so I can see a decent way down. Let me switch up to the next level of illumination. It's the second level, the third level, the fourth level, the fifth level, the sixth level of illumination, seventh level of illumination. All right, very difficult to see the trees at the end of the fencing, which is about 100 yards away. There are some trees out. There's a, about three quarters of a moon. You can see the trees back there. That's about 200 yards. Uh, but I can't see anything down at the base of the trees at all. All right. And then if I come over here, uh, there's a tree line about 100 yards away past the end of this fence here. All right. That's illumination off. Illumination one, two, three, four five, six, and seven. Some trees out in the distance. That's probably about 50 yards. That's probably about 40 yards. Probably about, I would say, 60 or so yards. All right, so just for comparison purposes, sorry, I have a little moisture on the front of my lenses here. Uh, so just for comparison, this is a Gen 3 white phosphor filmless L3 tube with about a 2000 FOM. This is regular night vision. There's the three quarter moon and a bunch of the other trees that I was looking at through the GT Media digital night vision. Now you can tell things obviously look a lot better through the real night vision as opposed to the digital night vision. Uh, the digital night vision is zoomed in by default uh, to, I believe it's a 4X. So it's very difficult to get a depth perception of how far away things are. But you can see this is the fence I was talking about that goes out about 50 yards. Uh, and then the tree line out there, uh, I'll designate that with a laser pointer. So out there, probably about 200 yards, not probably, um, it's 200 yards I've uh, measured. Okay. So where you couldn't visibly see really the end of the fence with the digital night vision, you could see that very clearly through the regular night vision, uh, as well as the tree line, uh, the moon, and even out there at the 300 yards where that tree line is where I'm looking. So just a quick comparison between the digital and regular night vision. So uh, that digital night vision is definitely usable, uh, but I think the use case for that is really to be out and looking for things at night that are within a relatively close distance, um, in, definitely inside of 100 yards. I would probably say 75 yards would be the max that you're going to be able to get out of that. And it's not, not even a very dark night. There's uh, a whole bunch of moonlight out that is aiding in throwing illumination down for both the digital and the non-digital or analog night vision. So just one more time, uh, let me just turn off the analog night vision and go back to the digital and show you the difference here of what we're looking at on this fence line. All right, so here we are back on the digital night vision, the GT Media. 
here's the fence that's right next to me that runs down about 50 yards you can tell obviously it's very zoomed in but you really can't get you really can't quite get down to the end of the fence with this let me turn up the illumination here all the way to seven so uh, this is the maximum illumination here and you can kind of see the end of the fence at the left edge of the screen that other fence down there is further off in the distance probably about uh, i would say 75 or 80 yards or something like that okay but this is the the fence that we were looking at in the regular night vision that's the end of it there about 50 yards uh, so you could definitely see further and right now i'm shielding the top of the digital night vision the front of the lens because uh, i'm trying to block out some of the moonlight like my hand is right here you can see so i'm trying to block out the glare from the moonlight so we can get more of like a real true reading on how far this thing goes out. But you definitely have a, a decent picture, albeit zoomed in 4x, uh, you'll definitely be able to see things at night. Now the caveat to that is I have the illumination set to seven and there is a large red glowing illuminator in the front of this that's visible from in front of me. So anybody that is out there looking directly at me will be able to see that red illuminator, uh, especially somebody else that's wearing night vision. It'll be like a nice big flashlight pointing at them through, through night vision. All right. All right, I hope this helped, guys. Uh, Good luck in choosing a night vision that's going to work for you. And for now, signing off. Thanks. All right, guys, uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got a little bit of useful information out of this. Um, if this is something that you think you might like to buy, uh, the price points uh, right around $100. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on the GT Media website. Um, if you feel like it's something that you would get use out of and that fits the bill for what you're going to be doing, go ahead and take a look. Uh, if not, and if you weren't impressed, uh, you think that it's not going to fit the bill, and maybe an analog unit is something that you might want instead if you're going to be running and gunning, uh, doing any kind of rifle or firearms work or movements at night in the, in the pitch black. All right. So uh, again, I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you have anything to say in the comments, feel free to leave it down below. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.